Mars, here we come. This statement may seem bold, but it's no exaggeration now that Elon Musk has unveiled detailed plans for this monumental mission. However, the road ahead is not without significant challenges. SpaceX will need to overcome numerous obstacles to make this dream a reality. So how exactly will SpaceX achieve its ambitious goal? Let's dive into the specifics in today's episode of Great SpaceX and explore the path that lies ahead for humanity's journey to the Red Planet. As we move through 2024, humanity edges closer to one of its most ambitious goals, Colonizing Mars, SpaceX, led by visionary Elon Musk, has made significant progress in developing the technology needed to turn this dream into reality. The fully reusable Starship, a spacecraft capable of carrying large payloads and refueling in orbit, has undergone rapid development with important milestones achieved along the way. While the journey is full of challenges, Musk has outlined a clear roadmap to Mars, signaling that we may be on the verge of a new era in space exploration. One of the most frequently asked questions is, when will SpaceX actually reach Mars? On September 7th, Musk took to X, formerly Twitter, to provide a more specific timeline. He announced the first starships to Mars will launch in two years when the next Earth-Mars transfer window opens. This statement suggests that the first uncrewed mission to Mars could take place as early as late 2026 or early 2027, in line with previous predictions. These initial flights will be crucial for testing the reliability of Starship's landing capabilities on Mars. Musk emphasized that, initially, these will be uncrewed to test the reliability of landing intact on Mars. If those landings go well, then the first crewed flights to Mars will be in four years. Mars landings present unique challenges compared to Earth or Moon missions. The planet's thin atmosphere and harsh conditions make landing large spacecraft like Starship significantly more complicated than the smaller rovers and landers that NASA has previously sent. However, successful uncrewed landings will pave the way for human missions, which Musk predicts will occur around 2028 or early 2029. The timeline for these missions is dictated by orbital mechanics. Earth and Mars align, Mars align favorably for space travel once every 26 months when they are closest to each other, a period known as a launch window. SpaceX has set these windows as milestones, with Musk stating that each launch opportunity is crucial to advancing the mission. If the 2026 to 2027 uncrewed mission goes according to plan, the first humans could step foot on Mars by 2028, marking a historic leap forward in space exploration. Once humans arrive, Musk's plan is to begin the process of colonization in earnest. Flight rate will grow exponentially from there, with the goal of building a self-sustaining city in about 20 years, Musk said. In Musk's eyes, making humanity a multi-planetary species is essential for ensuring the survival and expansion of human consciousness. Being multi-planetary will vastly increase the probable lifespan of consciousness, as we will no longer have all our eggs, literally and metabolically, on one planet, Musk explained. The implications of this are profound. Musk's plan would safeguard humanity against potential extinction events on Earth, whether caused by natural disasters, pandemics, or even self-inflicted catastrophes like nuclear war or climate change. By establishing a colony on Mars, humanity would take its first steps toward becoming a space-faring civilization. At the heart of this vision is SpaceX's Starship, a next-generation spacecraft designed to be fully reusable and capable of carrying massive payloads. Musk has highlighted the importance of Starship's payload capacity in achieving the Mars mission. Currently, Starship V1 can carry under 100 tons of payload, while the V2 version, which is already in production, will exceed that figure. Eventually, Starship V3, standing at 150 meters tall, will be able to transport over 200 tons of cargo per flight. Musk recently disclosed even more ambitious payload goals, stating, Max payload to standard Earth reference orbit is actually 180 tons thereabouts for Starship when it is fully reusable, and around 300 tons if expendable. The latter number is the apples-to-apples -apples number comparing Starship to Saturn V. More than 100 tons to the Starlink orbit is the operational spec minimum. For Mars colonization, the math is clear. Musk believes it will require 1 million tons of cargo to build a self-sustaining city capable of supporting a million people. To achieve this, SpaceX must launch Starship up to 10 times per day during each Mars transfer window, sending a total of 250,000 tons of cargo to Mars every opportunity. 
Over the course of four such launch windows, or about eight years, SpaceX could deliver the 1 million tons of necessary cargo. If everything goes according to plan, this process would fit neatly within the 20-year time frame Musk has envisioned for creating a Mars colony, beginning as soon as 2028 or 2029. However, building a city on Mars won't be cheap. Musk has been upfront about the immense cost of the endeavor, but SpaceX's approach has always focused on reducing costs through reusability. The Falcon rockets have already proven this concept, and now Starship aims to take it to the next level. SpaceX created the first fully reusable rocket stage and, much more importantly, made the reuse economically viable. Musk said in a recent post highlighting how essential cost optimization will be to the mission's success. He also shared the staggering cost of delivering payloads to Mars under current conditions. It currently costs about a billion dollars per ton of useful payload to the surface of Mars. That needs to be improved to $100,000 per ton to build a self-sustaining city there, so the technology needs to be 10,000 times better, Musk explained. As SpaceX sets its sights on Mars, it's important to take stock of both the impressive accomplishments achieved so far and the significant work that lies ahead. Over the past year, SpaceX has made incredible progress with its Starship program, completing four integrated test flights. One of the most notable milestones has been successfully landing both stages of Starship, a feat that marks a key step toward achieving full reusability. This is crucial for SpaceX's long-term goal of colonizing Mars, as reusability will significantly lower the cost and complexity of repeated missions. The next big challenge for SpaceX comes with Flight 5, expected around October. During this flight, SpaceX will attempt a groundbreaking maneuver, recovering the Super Heavy Booster using the Mechazilla Arm, a large structure designed to catch and stabilize the rocket as it descends. If successful, this would be a major advancement toward full reusability. Following this, Flight 6 or Flight 7 will aim to recover both the Super Heavy Booster and Starship, making it the first fully reusable rocket system ever achieved. These flights represent crucial milestones on SpaceX's roadmap, with full reusability being a pivotal part of the Mars mission strategy. While these technological challenges are formidable, SpaceX has made it clear that the road to fully operational Starship rockets will likely take the rest of 2024 and into early 2025. After mastering recovery, SpaceX plans to ramp up its launch frequency, increasing reliability and efficiency. Alongside this, they are developing an orbital refueling system, a vital component for enabling long-range missions to destinations like the Moon, Mars, and beyond. This refueling system will allow Starship to carry more payload and travel farther without needing to return to Earth for fuel, a game-changing capability for interplanetary travel. As SpaceX moves forward, it is continuously working to enhance Starship's capabilities. This includes transitioning to newer, more powerful versions of the spacecraft like Starship V2, which will allow for even greater payloads and operational flexibility. Recent upgrades to the Raptor engines, heat shields, and other essential systems reflect the ongoing innovation at SpaceX. The company is not just focusing on the spacecraft itself, but is also expanding its ground operations. The completion of the new test systems and construction of Star Factory and additional launch towers are expected to significantly increase SpaceX's operational capacity, helping them meet the aggressive launch demands they've set for themselves. But advancing technology isn't the only challenge SpaceX faces. The company also needs to navigate the complex web of regulatory approvals required to increase its launch cadence. SpaceX has proposed a plan to conduct up to 25 launches per year at Starbase and 44 launches annually from its Florida facilities, aiming to pave the way for even greater launch volumes in the future, potentially thousands of launches per year. However, these ambitious plans hinge on receiving the necessary approvals from the FAA and other regulatory agencies. Current procedures are not yet equipped to handle the scale of SpaceX's plans, and the company frequently encounters delays due to environmental and governmental regulations. To overcome these obstacles, SpaceX will need to work closely with these agencies to streamline the approval process and demonstrate the reliability of their operations. Proving that Starship can operate safely and efficiently at such high volumes is critical for Musk's vision to become a reality. Only by clearing these regulatory and environmental hurdles will SpaceX be able to significantly increase its launch frequency and ultimately achieve its Mars colonization goals. There are certainly challenges ahead for Elon Musk and his team, but their determination and focus on a clear goal keep the dream of Mars within reach. With each successful test flight and technological breakthrough, humanity inches closer to becoming a multi-planetary species. 
Starship is poised to play a pivotal role in this journey, and as SpaceX accelerates its efforts, the once distant goal of setting foot on Mars is coming closer to realization. This is a pivotal moment for SpaceX. The groundwork is being laid, but there's still much more to do. The question is, are you ready for this next chapter in humanity's space exploration journey? In any case, folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, and as always, this has been Kevin from Great SpaceX. Until next time, keep looking up.